Okay, here we are again. So now in response to your answer, we see that the Dow has been up as much as 135, 133 points at the highs of the day. Your question was if the primary lines on the hourly chart are to predict market direction. Now remember, after the video, I think on on late Wednesday, the market did pull back about from the highs from about 100 points on the on that Wednesday and then a hun another 130 points, so 230 points from the Dow. So those hourly charts, once they were broken, they did lead to a an hour hour to hour sell off. But the market recaptured that into the close of yesterday's trading. The Nasdaq was up about 0.6 percent. What I wanted to look at here is right now with the Dow trading at just about 100 points at uh, 11581. What I want us to look at here is. This was the line I was talking about the other day. This red line. Oops, let me put it back. That red line, once we broke below it, corresponds with that. Let's see if I can change the color here. To use some. Corresponds with that break. That, those highs there corresponds with that break. So the market did pull back. Even though it doesn't show it on the day to day basis, it did pull back when it left uh, this level here from the RSI being get yellow again this this break here of this red line which is this break here right there once that was good for the Dow losing about 230 points so today we wake up um, and we find that the market is up in the pre-market and I just sent you an email and I was trying to explain to you the reason why I think there's a reversal in this market and this could be a trap is because if, if I look at the big picture is I see now that the market pulled back and rallied now we have a new primary line this line here and this line connects it to 52 week low there which is at 52 week low there so based on yesterday's lows in the market another low there so you draw a straight line so I think what's gonna happen is you see this top here connect that top with this top here you see that now the market is slightly above that this slightly above this line here oops yeah this line which is RSI top line in fact right there so based on everything that I'm looking at the possibility that the market turns around and trades below this turquoise line here on the top is probably gonna reflect the highs. Also notice that if you take this line and I have to keep doing this so you can see it, this line here that I'm moving around. This line here, another way to look at it is once we broke below that line there, we would work our way to the underside of this line. And this line here corresponds to the lows here. To the lows. Um, in other words it's see what I can do it's a line that has been drawn market moved below it now the market has worked its way back usually this becomes a back test area and the market can coil and move lower now let me show you why I still think that the hourly charts are telling me a lot of what's not very obvious and it's all based on my primary understanding of primary lines if you take a look at an instrument that goes inverse the market the VXX which tracks the VIX you'll notice that this was a 52 week high this is a high on the RSI yesterday when the market was selling off this is this the instrument stall right there so we draw a straight line connecting that high and the high there you get this yellow line now the this this instrument has been below 30.90 but it's now recaptured 30.90 trading about 31 I think if it has the strength to move above the yellow line, that's going to be a primary break to the upside and the market's going to be pulling back. Okay, so I think that also tells me a lot. And it, again, like, remember, you're looking at an hour to hour basis, so this might take a while. Now, if I take a look at the S&P 500. Five hundred right there. 
now you'll see these highs correspond with that high which is actually pretty much where we, we are trading at around now around here this high corresponds with the highs there corresponds with the highs there now notice when we made this high the RSI was here when we made this high the RSI was here now we are making another we're coming back to this level but the RSI is now lower so we have declining technicals also notice that right here this line which connects the highs this is where this market is hitting right now so even at the highs of the day the market was hitting that level that's a spy Let me see what I'm because something is not right here okay but anyway so here's the market trading at up 120 another reason why I am suspecting there is gonna be a turnaround in this market to the downside is now look at Bank of America it has a new line remember Bank of America was trading at 660 when I said if it moves below this this uh, line here which was a primary line it was gonna it should be a short that was 660 six dollars and sixty cents now it's trading at it's even gone as almost close to about 615 now as it stands red which means it's making lows for the day what I'm looking at here is a possibility of Bank of America slipping below 50 and also breaking this now what is a primary trend line here this line now connects the lows and yesterday is this here this becomes a primary line so if it does two things one break below 50 and break this line then that's gonna confirm to me that the market wants to sell off and all the all, all what we are seeing in the market is a misdirection trade remember the only way the market operates is by confusing everybody with a lot of misdirection or plays uh, so that's what I'm looking at now if I if I turn around and look at this market purely from my daily charts then I start seeing why the market is at a point of inflection let's take a look at for example the Nasdaq and if you take a look at my uh, October 13th video uh, October 13th subscriber market update video you see why I was showing a lot of resistance points on the chart on the daily and those resistance points right now look like they're being broken but this is intraday we have about we have almost six hours before the market closes it's, yeah about six five hours and 40 minutes before the market closes so there's a lot of time for this just to change by the end of the day right now everything looks good for the bulls but yesterday I noted I, I noted that there was resistance levels on for example even the Nasdaq Let's see here go with blue like this is where the market stalled here which corresponds with that high it stalled here in September which corresponds with this high yesterday at the close the market was stalling right there right now it's showing a slight breakout but we haven't closed so we have to wait for the close to see where that breakout stays in place or whether by the end of the day the market is gonna be negative or close to negative and this area is gonna be is gonna be uh, confirmed as a resistance area let's take a look at one that was confirming I think was the IYR and probably the BKX all right as of yesterday's trade you see that the BKX stalled exactly where we would expect resistance to be which is this was the area here this big sell-off this big drop that area marks an area where this instrument has been stalling like here corresponds to that high here corresponds to that high and then we hit that level as of yesterday right now this instrument is up about we update this but it's up and it's just close to the 50-day moving average which is declining so somewhere around here I would expect resistance so I'm, I'm looking at the dailies and trying to see that there's also some level of resistance on the dailies that's already starting to show up but it hasn't shown up as far as intraday action is concerned it looks like a nice bullish day but if I take a look at the hourly and the primary lines just being underneath the market you start looking at the possibility that yes even though it doesn't seem like the market is on a rally mode but the bottom line is that the possibility like for example the fact that Bank of America is now very close to moving below 50 here 
at 50.39 tells me that if it breaks below that it's gonna break 150 and it's also gonna break this trend line here and that to me is an area in the market where I would say I don't want to stay long Bank of America because the possibility of a downdraft in Bank of America is now became, becoming increasingly high notice that as Bank of America is making new lows I'm seeing the VXX which is the ETF that tracks the VIX making new highs for the day so which tells me the possibility of a breakout above this yellow line is very high as the day keeps on going we are about 33 minutes 40, 40 minutes after market open um, and I think just little by little the market is going to start disintegrating that's what I'm looking at here now things could change but that's the view from where I sit we'll see how that holds off so I'm gonna stop the video here just to let you know that what I was thinking here is that even though hour to hour it seems like those hourly charts did not predict much but I think as we look at the dailies and see that the dailies are trying to show us some resistance now we go to the hourly charts which already have a primary line on a bearish slant so if the resistance on the daily is to be respected then the hourly charts should start showing breaks of those primary RSI lines okay does that make sense so we'll see how it goes also let me just show you um, this is the Nasdaq 30 minute chart just in conclusion and again this is now and I'm sure you are aware of this is if you take the highs there forget about all the lines the highs there and that high you draw a straight line you get this line here this line on the R on the Nasdaq 30 minute chart so you see that we are slightly above that line there slightly but we already started turning around we are already starting to show that we are turning around already you can see that seems like an inverted U type situation so there is a line we this area here will, will, will correspond with that high and then this high here would be somewhere here so we've come all the way hit that level formed a straight line and then we moved above it slightly but now we are starting to show uniform activity above and below that line usually what that tells you that that area just above and below the line is a trap in the market it's a trap that's why it's uniform it's manipulated by software and that's why it's got this uniform feel you see what I'm saying and so that's how I'm looking at it I know hour to hour it seems like things are not working out but if you give the market sometimes it's an aspect of time that we don't give it like right now I'm seeing the Nasdaq make a fresh daily low um, I'm seeing the S&P 500 also make a daily low I don't know where Dow is trading at but the S&P 500 just touched a daily low now the market is up 96 points give or take we'll see how the day goes but now remember even on my charts I need to update this chart to show that I need to update this chart here I need to draw a new primary line right there and I'm gonna give it a different color right there so now I know if the market stalls remember we already have this resistance line there connecting the highs if the market stalls you see what I'm saying if the market stalls and confirms this highs and this high that there's resistance there then any break of this primary line here is gonna lead to a sell-off in the market this is Eric Mwada with Mwada.com peace and blessings